said to the radio guy. Ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> Just give us, the, give, give us yeah. the cliff notes of what you're feeling after this game here today. Kaminska set the tone on the mound. I thought he was incredible. Um, you know, when we had some hard hit balls and they were making great plays defensively, uh, he kept it at zero. And every time we scored, he did a nice job of getting the shutdown inning and uh, and complete control. I thought he was amazing. I, we had, thought we had amazing at bats up and down the lineup. Um, really, really good team win. What did Hawaii have working early that was causing you guys some trouble on the offensive end? Their defense. Honestly, I mean, I, I thought, I think I looked at my sheet after the first first time through the order, and we had seven balls on the barrel, you know, so they kept us off the scoreboard by their defense. Um, thought we took some really good swings, and, you know, the final score may not indicate it, but there was some a little bit of adversity to overcome in that game with, with the plays that they made. It's easy to get frustrated, get get a two-run homer taken off the board there uh, with the pitch clock. Uh, we still scored the two runs, though, in that inning with Swanson's big two-out double, two-run double. What's it say coming off of the Vanderbilt game yesterday? A lot of teams might have been satisfied with that, that you guys came out and just pounded away and kept doing your thing. Just it says that we're got, we got a pretty mature team. we got a team that's – pretty dialed in, pretty locked in. Uh, they don't make it too too high or too low, too much, too little. Um, you know, they, they're pretty process oriented just as far as showing up every day, uh, having a plan for how to get better. And that's, again, that's what I said after the first weekend, the second weekend, you know, we just need to keep getting better and better. And we've had we've kind of incrementally done that. What can you say of Gabe's performance today? Amazing. I mean, he, he was on the barrel. I mean, he, he hit the ball in left center and the center fielder made a great play on, probably saved two runs early in the game. He saves a, a potential run, a potential double late in the game, uh, throwing a guy out at second base, punctuates, we, answers there too there with a two-run homer. I mean, he was he was incredible. Um, you got some length in your lineup when you've got guys that can do that. Can you describe that sequence uh, with the, the pitch clock violation that, that Garrett gets the home run? Yeah, run? I, mean, I think their starter was pretty close on a, a few occasions, and so I think the, it was pretty on high, pretty much on high alert for the, for the pitch clock there. And it did hit zero before he threw the pitch, so um, – it, by the letter of the law, it was it was a ball. Have you ever seen anything like that in no. baseball where you hit a home run and you have to lock back in? Right no, away? no, because I've never played with a pitch clock before. So maybe it, maybe it's something that to speak to that you play it like a balk. If the pitch is thrown, you get to, get to take the result of the play. So um, it may be something we can we can look at. You told me after San Diego when I saw in San Diego that you really believed in your first two starters uh, and, and and Jake. Yeah. Is that that kind of showed itself out this weekend? So, or is this kind of how you expected them to be as the season went along? Yeah, they've got good stuff and they're strike throwers. Um, so, you know, they're typically when you have those guys, they're going to eliminate the crooked numbers and and um, give you a little bit of length with, with some games and give you a chance to score uh, and play from ahead. So, yeah, they've been really, really good. Like I said, Jace was he was incredible today. Um, I thought this fastball played, breaking ball played. Um, yeah, those guys have done a really nice job and allowed our offense to to go to work. Uh, What's the flexibility like in your lineup right now? You have a couple of guys today who pinch hit, Ben Columbus, Charlie Fisher, who could yeah. easily be in the lineup. Right. How many options do you truly feel like you have right now? Well, hitting's contagious, you know, and so it, it, guys are feeling good right now. Um, yeah, I mean, you're trying to search for at-bats for some guys at times, um, you know, trying to get Fisher in there. He's, he's been really good when he's played. Columbus, you know, has played most of the first few games and hasn't played this weekend. Uh, Griffin Everett got off to a slow start, and now he's doing really well. So, uh, yeah, you've got some guys that are kind of feeding off each other, and, and uh, they're having team at-bats. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing is guys stay within themselves and stay with the team And when it comes to their approach and how they go about it, then they're going to continue to get opportunities. What's the scout for this tomorrow? They got an unbelievable offense, and we're going to have a tough left hand we're going against. Do you handle that game any different? It's probably a dumb question, but do you handle that game any different going into it tomorrow, knowing who you're facing? No. You tell the guys the same thing? Yeah, same thing. Okay. Uh, Clark, is he's been around the zone. He, he just keep attacking, stay on attack. We've got a pretty full bullpen uh, left and some hitters that feel pretty good. So, yeah, we'll be ready. Good job, Coach. Yep. Thanks. Thanks.